and Josh. I write a letter when I have a crush so intense that I don't know what else to do. Rereading my letters reminds me of how powerful my emotions can be, how all-consuming. Excuse you. Hey. Um, is this seat taken? Yeah. What? By you. I... I kind of asked. Did she tell you she was going to do it? Because... She didn't tell me about this. Well, we're still cool, right? We can still talk and, you know, kick it. Ooh, don't say kick it. <laughs> yes, we are cool. Good. Good. Do you want a carrot? I know what you're thinking, but we really were cool. However I felt about Josh, I would never do that to Marco. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I... Laura Jean! Can you I... just leave? Can we just go inside and talk about this? She asked you to leave, buddy. Josh, I'm fine. Go back inside. No, it's all right. It's no, no, all right. no, 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 no. Are, are you serious right now? Wait, this isn't about Jen and, and me at all. No, this is about you and Josh. Are you kidding me? This is the reason that you broke up with me. You're still in love with this Bonnie Iver wannabe? If Laura Jean broke up with you, it's probably because she's coming to the life-altering revelation that she's too good for you. You're in love with Josh? I didn't know she was home yet. Yeah, she finished her exams early. It was, it was a surprise. Yo, uh, Sanderson, yeah? Taking Laura Jean home? Looks like it. Hey, hmm. how long you two been hanging out? Uh, not long. So, at least he'll never find out how hard you were crushing after that game of Chubby Bunny. You really ought to relax. I know you love me. Loved. Past tense. You're Margot's. Dear Josh, I lie awake at night and imagine running my fingers through your hair, feeling your strong arms around Shut up. You're not real. I'm more real to you than he is. What are you doing? I guess I should tell you a little bit about Josh. He and Margo have been together for the past two years, but before Margo even cared that he existed, he was my first boyfriend. Well, space between the words, boy who was a friend. I could talk to him about anything. We just really understood one another. Okay, so, would you rather only drink water for the rest of your life, or you can drink whatever you want, but it has to have a little drop of pee in it? Hmm, let me clear or yellow? It has to be a little yellow. Let me pee. Definitely pee. I can't give a Mountain Dew. Yeah, definitely. Pee's the only answer. We didn't stop being friends when Josh and Margo got together. It was just different. Water, definitely water. Yeah, me too. Definitely. They didn't want me to feel left out, so they invited me everywhere, even on dates. It was possible, but I still felt like a third wheel. She deserves a great guy like Josh, and so I wrote him a letter. Now, I wasn't going to send the letter or anything. It was just for me to understand how I was feeling. But really, I guess it was mainly about how sometimes I imagined what it would have been like if I'd realized how I felt about him sooner. Oh, 
that he was betrothed to my sister. But if this wasn't what he wanted, then why did he come to the Field of Desire? It was fated that we should meet like this. <gasps> hey! 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 I'm not too late, am I? I was, uh, trying to meditate, but I ended up falling asleep. Very good. Smells good, Dr. C. Hey, Josh. ROG. So, uh, what you cooking? It's supposed to fall off the bone. It looks great, Daddy. I'll be back. I can't believe we're not going to see her until Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Wait, are you kidding? We're not going to see her until Christmas. Oh, no, no, no. But it was fun to be part of a group. <laughs> of course. There were still moments I wanted to disappear. Can we talk now? I can't believe you're dating Kavinsky. Why? I mean, is it so unbelievable that someone could like me? No. You're like the sweet, innocent girl, and, and he's a complete dick. I don't get it. I'm not that innocent. <laughs> OK. OK. Well, great. If that was the reason you came over to talk no, to me, then that's, I... <laughs> I... Wait. Look. Look, did you mean what you wrote in the letter? I don't know. OK, it was a long time ago. Well, not for me, all right? This is all news. So like, I'm, I'm trying to understand here. There's nothing to understand. Look, it was a mistake. You should have never seen it. I did see it. All right, so what am I supposed to do? Not tell Marco. Marco's not even talking to me. All right, you don't have to worry about that. Sorry. That's it. Marco dumps me. You're dating Kavinsky, and and we can't even be friends anymore. Josh, I don't know how to be friends with you like this. Look, had I known I was going to lose both of you like this, I wouldn't. Stop. Don't finish that sentence. Just... You can't just ignore no, wait, me. We can't... And I'm so mad at myself because I, I should have seen this coming. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you. It sucks. I'm sorry. Largy. I'm gonna wait. You better not. I'll see you later. What do you think that people are going to say when they see my girlfriend cozying up next to Sanderson? What do you think people are going to See, it's like driving. I just don't know what to do. OK. So can you. I don't follow. Let me start over. You were the first boy that I ever really liked. Everyone else, all the other letters were born out of fantasy. But yours was based off of actually really knowing you. And I guess I didn't really realize how I truly felt about you until you became Margot's boyfriend. But over time, that feeling just faded away, and I missed my best friend. I mean, why don't you just tell me that? I feel like I would have understood. Well, I couldn't. I didn't know. I know you don't like him. I like how he stood up for you today. I mean, he should have done it a lot sooner, but and again, he's a jock, and they're slow learners. <laughs> you are such a snob. Yeah. Look, if you miss him, then why don't you just tell him? Uh, I can't. And why is that? Because if it wasn't real, then I didn't lose anyone. But if I say that it was real, and he still doesn't want me, then you can't just sit up in your room writing love letters that you're never going to send out. I mean, Peter wouldn't even be in your life if they hadn't gotten out in the first place. Yeah, you definitely have a point. Laura Jean, everyone was so impressed by your presentation in Lit. You still think you haven't gotten a love letter? <laughs>